Hello, I'm Atuba George and I'm here with my beautiful wife Gloria. And we are so excited to be bringing you God's truth today. Now, this is a new week and today is February 14th that we celebrate Valentine's Day. Praise God. Now, I know um, there are certain believers, so some believers who, don't, who say we don't believe in celebrating Valentine. Now, I, I understand because, see, some you know, the, the whole concept of Valentine, the origin of Valentine is actually something godly that someone did. Someone put his life on the line for others, you know, so that um, I think so the, a priest put his life on the line so that um, they would allow couples to get married or something like that. And then now that's why the world thought it worthy that a day will be set aside to celebrate that act of love that he did so it's not it's not a day it's not a day for boyfriends and girlfriends <laughs> you understand they do, the do all the wrong things that is in their mind but it's a day to 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 look at what this thing love is is actually you know we talked about love before it is responsibility taking responsibility and for you to take responsibility you've got to have the capacity you know to respond so you have to have the ability to respond to that situation so i think this priest demonstrated such responsibility he put his life on the line he, he put his whole on the line you know that's showing capacity and you know and, um, the world just felt this this deed should be celebrated so as, as you celebrate valentine think more about the real meaning of it and not just um Oh, what, 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 what silly thing am I going to do today? You know, there are, there are ladies, young ladies who tell them, say, oh, I'll, I'll get this virgin on Valentine's Day. Don't do that. Because you end up regretting that action. If, if you want to give anybody such preciousness of your life, then why don't you tell him to get married to you? Praise God. She get married to you. Praise God. If he, if, 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 if he or both of you are not ready to get married, then you are not ready to take responsibility, you know, for that situation or that relationship. And so, so you, you are not in place to release um, such of yourself, you know, over to someone who you are really not sure he's going to take responsibility. Now, even if you are too sure, sure he's going to yeah. take responsibility, let him begin by Same. he's going to marry, marry you and getting married, not just, not yeah. just oh, I'll, oh, I'll get married to you, so mm -hmm. let's just, you know, do it. No, that's wrong. Praise God. Now, take note of these things. It's a godly thing. It's, it's a time to reflect more on how you have been loving, not just not just your spouse, not just your children, not just your um, whoever you are dating, like they say, but rather, what cause, what, what more can you do for others to have a lead in life? You know, what more, what more can you do? This, this priest wasn't celebrating his wife or his girlfriend. You know, no, he wasn't. But he gave his life so that others, others would leave. Yeah. So what sacrifice have you given for others to live. Now, I, I know people take this day also to visit the orphanages. Now, that's the right thing to do. Yeah. You know, let, let people remember this day for good as in, oh, we, we ate the kind of food we have not eaten before, you know, like people in the orphanage, or, or we we had experience. If, if you have the ability, take, take you can take a whole orphanage out, you know, mm -hmm. take them out for some to somewhere, you pay the bills, they just, have fun, enjoy themselves, and, and let it be a remarkable day yeah, for them, yeah. you know. So not just, so oh, I'm thinking of what to do to one girl, or I'm thinking of what to do to one boy. Nah, nah, <laughs> praise God. Think godly thoughts today. And let the love of God, that's what the scripture says, the love of God is shared abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost. So. If you don't have the Holy Ghost, you can't even love. Praise God. <laughs> you can't receive the love of God and you cannot love. You can't give it. Because if you don't have it, how do you give it? 
So it's a call also. You can't love if you've not received the Holy Ghost. Because it's the job of the Holy Ghost is to share the love of God abroad. Yes. Now, when he says abroad now, not within your heart, it, it, it pumps spreads. and spreads the love of God. So now, I've seen God heal me, but I don't know if he is going to um, help me financially. I don't know that. But, but I remember when I'm sick, and I'm talking now, I remember I was sick and then I prayed and, and uh, someone came to minister to me and I got healed instantly. And that's the love of God. Yeah. But this same love, would it take care of my finances? Would it take care of the bills that I have to struggle with every month? Now it's the Holy Spirit that sheds the love of God in your heart in that aspect and in every other aspect in your life. So he will make you realize that God can take care of your finances. He will make you realize that it's God that takes care of your marriage. It's God that takes care of your children. He will make you realize all that. And then at the end of it all, you will look at yourself and you will just see that I'm so surrounded by love. God loves me. Praise God. So that's it. And when that is full in your heart, you are now ready to give out the same love. You can't be a giver if you have not come to that fullness of understanding that God takes care of you. So you first of all realize that God gives to you because freely you have received, freely give. If you struggle to receive, you can't freely give it out. That's why you see friends so certain friends, it's so difficult to help a fellow friend. Why? Because they feel, look, you don't know what I went through to get what I have. You don't know what I've gone through to be where I am. And you think I will just give it to, give you, it like to you like that? Come on now. Because mm -hmm. they didn't receive it freely. Is it, it is not the friend that is asking that has a, have a problem. They are the ones that have a problem because they did not receive what they have freely. Yeah. They didn't. You struggled for it. And let me tell you something. If you are struggling for anything or you have what you struggled for. <laughs> to be difficult. Not just difficult. You are not in the perfect will of God. Yeah, I'm telling you the truth. If you are struggling to keep what you have, is an indication that you are not in the perfect will of God. Because the day you come into the perfect will of God, I'm telling you, the first thing God is going to tell you, go sell everything you have, give to the poor, and come and follow me. <laughs> and then that's the day you realize, what? If this is the cost to follow God? Ah, you know that rich young ruler did the same thing. He thought about like, sell everything I have, give to the poor. Not because Jesus wanted him poor. Jesus, hey, Jesus said it. He said, when his disciples said, How? who then can be saved? <laughs> because he says, with God, with man, it is impossible, not, not with God. Then he says, the disciples said to him, Master, we have left all to follow you. And Jesus immediately said, there is no one who has left father, mother, house, and all those stuff. And, and, and for, for my sake, that will not receive in this life a hundredfold. Praise God. So Jesus was actually giving that man an opportunity to have a hundredfold of everything he has. But he couldn't see it. Because all he was seeing is poverty. I sell everything I have. I'll become a beggar. I'll become poor. Nah. <laughs> Praise God. So, so as we celebrate today, we, we just want to remind you something. God loves you so much. Jesus said, greater love has no man than this, than that a man should lay his life for his friends. He didn't just say it, he did it. Jesus laid his life for us. He gave his life 
for us. He took responsibility for our shortcomings. He took responsibility for our sin. He took responsibility for every wrong we have ever done. And he said, give me the bill. And a bill was given to him and it was so much that it was going to cost him his blood. Because the life of a man is in his blood. And Jesus said, I'm willing. There is no man, no woman that can give you that kind of love. None. That is the greatest love. And he freely gave it to you. Now what's supposed to be your response? Receive that love that he has given to you and be at peace. Don't tell yourself, I, I, I don't know if I'm of any value. You are valuable. Jesus showed that you are valuable. You were included in that debt, that payment that he paid. You were included. And you were valuable. And if you would just receive him and say, Lord Jesus, I believe that you died for me. Yes, me. Me. Maybe your name is Jane, Matthew, Jesus. Rufus. Ada, whatever your name is, Jesus, you died for me. I believe it. I believe it. And today I receive that sacrifice that you did for me. And I receive it so much that I change my thinking, that I've been of no value. No, I'm valuable. Very. If Jesus would think of it and say, look, I'm dying for this one too. You're valuable. Don't let any man or don't let any woman tell you you don't have any value. Don't let anybody insult you anyhow and put you, just treat you anyhow and tell you you are, you are, you are nonsense. No, you cost the blood of Jesus Christ, God's own son receive his sacrifice and begin to give yourself the right perspective to life begin to talk right begin to think right begin to act right if you don't value yourself people will not place value on you so people will respond to the kind of value that you place on yourself and you can't have that value without Christ he is, he is the one that makes you beautiful. He's the one that makes us beautiful. It, it, you know, people think this born again thing is just one thing we use as excuse, you know, for not, for not, uh, maybe feel someone is poor. He can dress like every other person, you know, can, 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 you know, be, you know, you be, listen, you don't understand the joy there is in Christ Jesus. This is where it's happening. I'm telling you, this is where it's happening. It is called joy unspeakable, full of glory. You don't need to get into a nightclub and start dancing. And you are done with that. You come back home sorrowful. Looking for love in the wrong places. But when the joy of the Lord fills your heart, mm. you will be in your room, no music playing. And you will begin to dance. I'm telling you the truth. Because the, the, the music now is not from the sound of a radio or from the sound of a music instrument. But the music is right in your heart. You carry it everywhere you go. You're going to walk. They are dancing in your heart. You're dancing. And, and men begin to notice, hey, there's something different about you. Because you are responding to a rhythm that is being played by the Lord in your heart what a life what a beautiful life praise god i'm telling you the truth this is what love is yes. and this is what jesus did for, for you. you receive it and let this become your experience from henceforth and add value to your life take that value everywhere you go until men begin to see and recognize the value that you have given to yourself. Praise God. Can we just can we just pray for everyone watching and listening right now? Can you go ahead and pray? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. 
I'm so emotional right now because the love of God is priceless. Yes. I'm a recipient of that love. I'm a living witness that the love of God can transform a man, set him on course, and give his life a meaning. Yes. And that is why I am confident today, not because of what any man did for me, but love gave himself for me. Yes. Love opened my eyes to see the value of myself, to see how important I am to him. Love made me to see myself complete. Nothing missing, nothing lacking, nothing broke. Yes. I do not need man to make me complete. I have him in whom lies all fullness. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. And that is why, my Lord and my God, you reached out to me. You reached out to us. You have made our lives beautiful. Yes, Lord. You have made us confident in your love. You have given us stability. Yes. Focus, vision. Father, we ask that as many as are groping in the dark, Reach out to them. Yes. Thank you. Jesus. Many that feel like their life has become meaningless. Some even feel so undeserving of your precious love. Baba. Reach out to them, my yes. God. Thank you, Jesus. Let them realize you, <laughs> that you love them. Yes, Lord. Let them realize. That you will not cast out anyone that comes to you. Yes. We declare that your love is, is spreading mm. all over the world today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When men turn to the right and to the left, they will see the expression of your love. Yes. Yes, Lord. The word of God is coming to everyone. Yes. The act of love is expressed by your children all over the world. And then many will come to that light. Many turn from darkness to light. Yes. So that their lives will begin to be purposeful. Amen. Their life will begin to have direction. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Because we have received a harvest of souls today. Yes, Every wrong intent, we put a stop to Amen. it. <laughs> Everything that man has sat down to plan. Every evil we put a stop to it today. Yes, Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Let men be bold to say no to ungodliness. Yes, Lord. But say yes to truth. Yes, Lord. Thank you, hallowed be your name, O Thank God. Thank you, Lord. Because it is so. Even Amen. as we have decreed and declared and asked of you. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Praise you, God. Hallelujah. Listen, have a great day today. Hallelujah. Express and receive the love of God. Yes. We'll see you again tomorrow. God bless you. Bye-bye.